Uh, so here is again another question uh, for surveying diploma in quantity surveying uh, July series of 2018. So here is a good question that I had seen and so it will for us to go ahead and revise it. So this is question 1c. Uh, two streets uh, P, PI and QI meet at intersection point I. Point E and F were established on streets PI and QI respectively such that the distance EF is 100 meters. So the angle uh, PEF is measured as uh, 165 degrees 40 minutes zero zero seconds and angle Q F E is uh, 168 degrees 40 minutes zero zero second. If the radius of the curve and the change of E are 60 meters and 2530 meters respectively. So the radius is 600 and the change at E is 2530 respectively. Calculate the distance from E and F to the respective tangent points. Then our second, determine the change of the first and the last tangents. So this question we have been given. So this is the point where we have inaccessibility. So this is our question found in our correction in errors uh, in surveying. So I have demonstrated the diagram here for us to understand. So here is P, uh, intersection point I, Q. So EF, it's in the middle. And the angles have been given here. Then we have R, which is the radius. Then change at E is 2530 meters. So here we have been given P, E, F as 165 degrees 40 minutes zero zero second so we are supposed to find the internal angle so uh, our value here minus 180 and we'll find our 1420 then here it is q f e uh so angles on a straight line add up to 180 so when you subtract 180 you find your answer so let's go ahead. So 180 minus the values that we have been given there, and we find the internal angle of the of this triangle here. So if you add the angles here, you subtract by 180, and you find the last angle which we have not been given. So the angle of intersection. And if you minus 180 also by applying the principle of triangle of uh, lines on the a straight line up to add up to 180 so when you subtract and you find the deflection angle from that point so 180 minus the addition of the, both those angle and we'll find our answer as 150 for uh, 20 zero, zero. so that is the angle that we have gotten so by applying the formula of mathematics uh, by equating the angles and the distances so here we'll be equating the angle that we have here so the angle that we have here will be equating it to the value uh, by applying those mathematical concept so the angle in which we have here Uh, will be represented by the opposite line so this angle will be represented by here and this angle will be represented by here so these formulas are found in the trigonometrical uh, calculation for the triangulation uh, either enlargement uh, so it's found there in math those are the concept that I used so we go ahead uh, and we see so the distance uh, ie which is the distance that we have here so the distance 
ie so this distance uh, will be equivalent so this distance over the sine of this angle will be the same as this distance that we have here the opposite so ef over so the so the distance 100 over the sign that we have been gotten here so this is just a simple concept from math that we are applying here in order for us to find the distance that we have so ei over sin 11 degrees 20 minutes is equals to 100 over sin the angle that we have gotten here so the angle of intersection that is the angle that we have gotten so sine uh, 154 degrees uh, 20 minutes so when you cross multiply e e will i e will be 45.37 meters so that is the value of the distance of uh, from the intersection to point e then we go ahead and we find the value of intersection to f so i f that distance over the sine of that angle which is opposite so the sine of 14 uh, 20 so this distance over the sine of uh, this angle it will be the same as this distance here which is opposite this angle so we go ahead and we calculate the value that we have so our intersection to f over sine uh, 1420 is equals to 100 over sine 154 uh, 20 uh, degrees so if is equals to 57 point uh, 16 meter so this is the uh, angle that we are supposed to have um, that uh, that is the distance from intersection to F then we go ahead and we find the tangent length so tangent length is equals to R tan theta 2 so I'm doing the tangent length in order for me to find the distance that remained from our so i need to find this distance the remaining distance from t1 to e and the remaining distance of t2 to f so i need to find that distance so in order for me to find that distance i, I need to have all these values so i've already calculated the distance from intersection to e and intersection to f so when you subtract the distance from the total the tangent length the tangent length is found in uh, from T1 to intersection there uh, I'll have gotten the distance from T1 to E and I will have gotten the distance of T2 to F uh, that is what I'm calculating here so I go ahead and calculate the tangent length after calculating the tangent length so the angle of deflection so the intersection angle minus 180 and i find the deflection angle so 600 that is the r radius of the curve times tan um, a, a half of the deflection angle so here our tangent length will be 136.68 meters and then we go ahead and we subtract so the distance e to t1 will be our tangent length minus the distance that we had gotten earlier so the distance of e to intersection so 45.37 meters uh, when i subtract that and i'll get our my answer as 91.35 so that is the distance that i'm calculating then the distance of t2 to f uh, will be the same so the tangent length minus the distance that we had calculated earlier here so from intersection to uh, f the value from intersection to f that is 50 7.16 meters that is the value that we have there so our my answer becomes half uh, 
79.52 meters that is the distance that i have so i need to calculate the changes of um uh, so we have been told so i've already answered the question for calculating the distance from e and f to the respective tangent points so the respective tangent points those are t1 and t2 uh, so that those are the distances that we are calculating so we go ahead to the next question so determine the change of the first and the last tangent and here we had been given the change of e as 2530 meters so having calculated that so change of e is equal to this so the first change t1 is equal to the value that so the tangent of e that we have already been given then we subtract the distance from e to t1 which we have already calculated here so when you subtract that distance and we get our t1 as 2438.65 meters so this is the change for t1 then change for t2 will be uh, t1 plus the curve length i go ahead, ahead and calculate the curve length so the formula of curve length is pi uh, theta r over 180 so i get the length of the curve as 268.78 meters so that is the curve length and i add the curve length plus the t1 that i had gotten earlier here in order for me to get t2 so here it is t1 plus the length of the curve that we have calculated here so our t2 becomes 2707.43 so here is my email uh if you want to reach me uh either you need consultation you need uh some correction you need give me some additional tips uh, you are free to uh, use my email you can contact me there and you I will get back to you as soon as possible so I will provide a link to uh, both this PDF and both this calculated uh, our scheme so this will be uh, your uh, follow marking scheme uh, and you can get something there.